to be a champion, you really you have to beat a champion. So I take that challenge um, to heart, and I really believe it. So that's what I'm, I'm here and set out to do. I am here with Bare Knuckle FC competitor and pro boxer Britton Hart. Britton, how's life? These are our pretty exciting times for you, huh? Uh, I would say so. Um, you know, being one of the main events uh, as a female fighter for the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, the second one in um, history is just, I mean, it's, it's an amazing honor. I can't believe we're a week away from it. Yeah. I'm so pumped for the fight. Of course, I'll definitely be watching that pay-per-view. Uh, so, Bare Knuckle FC 2, as you said, August 25th, against a former UFC fighter in uh, Beck Rollins. She's, she's a very popular fighter. How does it kind of feel, obviously, to be on this card? But what was your, like, initial reaction once you got that call? You know, it was one of those things that I was just like, okay, I, you know, I'll, I'll keep it in my back pocket. And I, I thought about it, and I, I really did. I took the time to console and really sit there and, and, and think – inside and out if I wanted if this was the fight I wanted to take and uh, after I actually really just divulging it and talking with a few other people it was just a hundred percent and ever since that decision it's just been full force but I do think it's funny a few people ask me and reach out and say you know she was uh in the UFC right and I kind of just play with them and say no was she really because <laughs> I didn't I didn't catch that so it's not even a thing you know she's a person this is a new sport different style different technique so she's just another person. Well, I mean, certainly the thing is, and, and you know this after being a pro boxer in combat sports, anything can happen. It takes one punch. Everyone's human. Yeah, exactly. And we and we did actually just discuss that today during training. We said anybody can throw a punch. Anyone can land a lucky punch. So you got to, you know, watch out for that. Uh, so I do have to ask, obviously, Bare Knuckle FC, uh, like Bare Knuckle Fighting has been around for a while, but as far as it being sanctioned, an actual promotion, uh, it's certainly grown in popularity very quick. I think it's going to get much more popular uh, you know, as time progresses. They have more uh, events. Obviously, you have that pro boxing experience, but did you ever kind of plan on doing Bare Knuckle FC, or did this opportunity just come up and you just couldn't pass it? Yeah, you know, Matt, you're exactly right. I really honestly am 100% there with you. I think that this is going to be the next big thing. Um, and, again, once I finally I, I thought about it and thinking, you know, bare knuckle it's boxing without the gloves you know but it's the it's it's fighting and competing in its most pure raw form so i mean basically it's it, it's boxing and i love boxing more than anything so you know i just kind of put the fact that the gloves are not there i, I kind of actually just removed it from the picture and just looked at it as this is what i do i'm a fighter i love boxing why wouldn't i take this opportunity and, um, you know, honestly, you, you never know unless you try. You never know unless you step in there and do it. And I think I would be denying my own character, my person, because I'm one of those people that give it my all and, you know, and tries everything. So um, the fact that I'm choosing to do this is something that, you know, just 100 percent. Did I see it happening? No, I'll be honest with you. I didn't. But once it presented me and presented itself in front of me, I just thought that, it was just that feeling that this is it, so um, I'm just going 100% with it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, once again, I'm definitely looking forward to this fight. So I know you've been obviously training very, very hard uh, for this fight. Walk me through a, a typical training day for you. Um, I wake up in the morning. I do um, basic, you know, fitness, cardio. Cardio is really important in fighting. Uh, obviously, you've seen it before. People gas out. So really trying to work, um, work on the cardio, make sure that that's, you know, not a problem. And in the evening, we go to, you know, sparring techniques, footwork, whatever the drill is of that day. So, I, you know, I'm doing two a days, working out twice a day, making sure that staying well-rounded and ready for any and everything. So that's basically um, a typical day. Um, if it, it's a lighter day or more of a rest day, I'll do just, you know, two or three mile run or jog. Um, so that's kind of like what my rest day has been. But other than that, a full force training day, you know, like I said, it's strength, cardio, and then going to sparring, hitting the heavy bag, uh, make sure we're dynamic, some dynamic exercise and movements. So you've overall found this, you know, training for the bare knuckle fight similar to your pro boxing training camps? Uh, yeah, honestly, I would say that, you know, it's such a new sport. It really is. So... Um, some new techniques are thrown in there, some new ideas, but 
Uh, this, I mean, technically, even though I'm a professional boxer, this, I guess this is my pro debut. So I'm reliving that moment. It's exciting. I'm, I'm reliving the, my pro debut in a bare knuckle boxing. So, um, it's really hard. I mean, I'm trying new techniques. They're a lot different than boxing as far as, you know, I have my boxing one-on-one, but, um, these new, um, clinches and everything and defensive strategies for, not having the gloves is different. We do try to incorporate them, but mostly, I mean, sticking to what I know best and what I do best. So if you're good at something, why change it, basically? Yeah, exactly. Why fix something that's not broken? Right. Once again, Beck Rollins is a big name. You've done very well for yourself uh, in boxing. If you get this, you know, finish here, if, you know, if you get the win in Presley, where should that kind of put you within bare knuckle or just in the boxing world? Um... You know, when I get this win, I think that I'm, I'm really, I'm going to do exactly what I've set out to do. And that's, you know, just change people's minds and perceptions on, you know, how to make it to the top. And, that you know, that it, you can get there. If you, you know, work hard and, you know, really push your mind to it and put your heart into it, that you can achieve whatever you want. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm going to do. But basically, you know dethroning her off the throne of bare knuckle she's you know crowned the queen of bare knuckle um i would love to take that spot over and i guess i would just have to defend it but i mean i'm not here basically like i said to just go in and be like eh, why not i'm here to give it my 100 percent and I'm, I'm here to stay i'm not here to just be a you know a passer through or a season i, I want it to be my roots be stay here so for fans who are going to be in attendance, for people who are going to be watching this fight on pay-per-view like myself, what are they going to see from you come fight night? Um, well, I think they're, they're going to be shocked. Uh, I know that for sure. They're going to be shocked. They're going to see um, They're going to see why people are excited for this bout. Um, I think a, a lot of people that know me and um, have heard of me and, you know, that they're really interested. This I think this uh, bout is getting a lot of attention and people... Um, are very excited to see it, which makes me excited because I know that people believe in me and, and see the heart that I have there and the determination. So I, I think that they're um, definitely going to be in for a shock. And exactly, you know, everybody secretly, I know they root for the underdog. So everyone loves a good underdog story. So I'm going to give the people what they want. Of course, of course. Brenton, the floor is yours. Anyone you'd like to thank? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I really want to thank each and every single person that has, you know, from any point in time in my life, but especially in the last month that's reached out to me. I mean, strangers from all over that just say, wow, what you're doing is awesome and that they believe in me. Um, thank you to just believe in it, you know, believing in me and, and wishing me the best. Um, you know, Noe Quintella, uh, Marcus Luck, Reggie Barnett, Justin Gunner, uh, Marcus Luck. There's a lot of people that have um, taken time out of their busy schedules to uh, help, you know, and work with me and train me and, and devote their time to making me better. So huge thank you. Um, D Venable has been traveling and been by my side through this. Um, you know, just, uh, just a lot of great people that have been, you know, just there and making sure that they know that I'm there or that they're there. Uh, so thank you to them. Um, you know, and if I'm leaving anybody out, uh, thank you, Hunter, uh, Hunter Thomas LLC. He's one of my main sponsors, so definitely a big shout out and thank you to him. He believed in me from day one, so he knows that goes without, without say.